the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, has directed the State Interest and Governance Authority, or SIGA, to ensure that any CEO who engages in any form of financial malfeasance be prosecuted. He gave the directive during the signing of the performance contracts for 2020 by chief executives and their sector ministers in Accra. The Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Obaumia, noted the state enterprises underperformed last year, raising only $1.2 billion. Though he did not cite state enterprises which underperformed, he expressed dismay over financial indiscipline in some of the enterprises which affected government's operations. We have noted with gratitude the sacrifice and good work some of you are doing. We are also noting that during the 2020 performance contract negotiations, some fiscal indiscipline of some entities um, were, were noted. SIGA has been directed to invoke the necessary articles in the law. The Vice President further expressed grave concern about unhealthy relationships between CEOs and their boss affecting the work environment. SIGA has been directed to continue with its corporate governance workshops and to enhance the appreciation of the respective roles of all stakeholders. It has been asked to to come out with a code of corporate governance for boards that will spell out the basic principles and standard governance protocols to be observed by all board members. Director General of the State Enterprise and Governance Authority, SIGA, Stephen Asamoa Boatin, assured the Vice President to deal with scandals he cited. Those of us who do not respond to phone calls, text messages, or any form of communication amongst us must begin to change their ways. You never know what is being passed on to you. No one should think he or she is above anyone. We are all working as a team. We are all in the same boat together to paddle in the direction under the visionary leadership of President Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Already, some CEOs have cited legacy debt and not meeting statutory obligations affecting their work. But the Director General pleaded with the Vice President to ensure the amount is paid. Everyone has responsibility to honor your obligations of paying for the services these state entities provide. If you do not, as a Ghanaian, pay your electricity bill or water bill and, and on time, how do you expect ECG or Ghana Water, for instance, to deliver? All state enterprises have to recover costs of operations. The various sector ministries and agencies signed the 2020 performance contract.